Hi friend, welcome to week four, including testimony, of the series streaming. So in week one, we had a testimony, right? Week two, I was sharing about like, what is a dream and why is streaming important and what does it do to us? And then week three, I talked about like persevering in dreams, right? And why it is important to persevere and not quit like while we are dreaming. And then week four, which is this week, <laughs> I want to talk to you about um, why do certain dreams get fulfilled and why do certain dreams not get fulfilled. I won't have the full answer to that. So don't think like, okay, at the end of this video, you know everything. You really don't. But one of the things I've seen in the years is like, sometimes you have a dream and a dream might be like something like a, I'm talking about personal dreams. I'm not talking one that God put on your heart. But sometimes you have a dream or an idea that you would like to see happen, right? And then sometimes they don't happen. And you're like, why are they not happening? Like, geez, like I want this to happen. As an example, um, you really want a house, okay? You really, really want a house. Or, let's make it a bigger example. You want a million dollars, right? Okay, let's go with that. So, you're wondering why is this not happening? Why do I not get the money? Like, why do I not get the house? God, like, why are you not fulfilling my dream? The question we need to ask in that moment is not, why are you not fulfilling the dream, God? Why is it not fulfilled yet? It's, what's going on with this dream? Why do you want a million dollars? That's a question you have to ask yourself in that context. Because I believe, like, there's certain dreams in our lives that we dream of or we think of, like, personal dreams we think of, that we want them to happen because then we can trust in whatever that dreams fulfill fulfills and don't have to trust in God. I'm not saying any of us would ever make that decision in a way like that we're like, oh yeah, I'm going to make this decision right now. I don't want to trust God. I want to trust like the dream. None of us is doing that, like 100% sure. But in reality, we probably all done that, right? Why do we dream of like having a million dollars? Why? Because we want us to give us security, right? Why do we want a house? Because we want it to give us security. So if God fulfills that dream that we have there or this idea that we have there, we walk into danger of trusting more into that thing that we got through that dream than trusting into the Father. So it's really important that when we dream, that it's not a dream which takes us away from God, but it's dreaming that brings us closer towards him, okay? With that, it doesn't mean you can't like have a house or you can't have a million dollars. It's all fine. There's not the issue, it's not with those two things or with a, a vacation or a car or whatever it is. That's not the issue. But if your trust turns from God into that other thing, whatever it is, that's where the issue comes in. So it's very important that when we dream, okay, when we dream personally, that we are honest with ourselves. Why do we want that? And then when we figure out why we want it, and if it means we can trust that thing more than we have to trust God, it will make us more independent from God. Probably not a good dream to dream probably not a healthy dream to dream 
and probably it could happen that that dream won't be fulfilled. Not saying it's always the case, because if you look at the story of the prodigal son, <laughs> that guy literally went to the dad, and the dad fulfilled his dream of giving him his inheritance, even with the risk of the guy blowing it all. But God doesn't always do that. Like, he loves us too much that, like, he wants us to really drift away and to walk into an area where we don't have to trust him or we trust something else which actually will hurt us. So I just want to encourage you with that. If a dream doesn't get fulfilled, okay, if you dream about something for a long time and doesn't get fulfilled, maybe ask God the question and ask yourself the question, why is it that you want that dream to happen? And what would it do to your relationship with God? What would it do with your trust with Him? Just think about it. It's a deeper one. Have a blessed week, and I'll see you next week.